All right, I got the wood running. That's what you hear on this thing. All right, first of all, I'm going to turn this on the volt symbol right here. And then that's, it don't know whether you want AC or DC. So I'm going to, well, let me cut the light on. All right, see that says AC. I want to put it to DC. Now, Tammy's going to connect the leads up. And this is this is with the battery just sitting here. Okay, she's got it connected, and that's a normal reading. This thing's been sitting up a while. It could be a little higher or a little lower. Okay, I'm gonna crank it up, and then the uh, volt should go up. And don't run off because I'm gonna show you something else now. this out. I let it run for about five minutes and I got the motor idling up some. I'm going to uh, cut this off and tell you something about it. I had let that motor run about five minutes to for the volts to get up like that. A boat motor don't have to have a hellacious charging system. A boat motor will run off its own power and the battery is just to crank it. It don't have to have no big old hellacious charging system on it just to, to keep that battery up to where it's supposed to be. I went to crank this truck up the other day because I needed to drive it. And when I did the key, you know, you know how it sounds when it does it. See what it's reading? 10.17. Now, that's not enough to crank it. it. It wouldn't even turn over. But I'm going to show you how to check it, like to see if it's your battery cable or your battery. Put it on the sound right here. Touch your two leads. Hear that? Okay, put one of your leads on the post, and then I'll put, well, I'll put the lead back here on the, on the uh, cable itself. And see, that's got a connection. All right, and I'll do the same thing right here, and I'll put it back here on the, on the wire back here. All right, that's how you check to see if you got a good battery connection.